What's up YouTube, Jeff Robbins back with our 206 break-in video. And as you can see, I've got the engine mounted up on the dyno ready to go. My magnetic drain plug finally came in, so I've got that installed. I've got it filled up with 14 ounces of Briggs 4T racing oil. I also ordered a fuel pump riser and I've got that installed. So maybe along the line we'll test that on and off, see how much money we're wasting on those. But that's really it. I put a chain guard on it as well, but um, yeah, it's ready to go. So on the dyno, when I'm running this, if you guys can see here, it basically just runs off a of Micron 5. And as I'm looking at the screen, I can see the temperature sensor from the CHT probe I've got installed right here. And then I can see my Lambda for the Lambda sensor I've got installed in the silencer. And then right here, this is the pressure sensor that I have installed in the system. And it reads a voltage output right here, but once I get that uh, loaded to the computer, I convert that into PSI. But yeah, let's get this thing done. So I've searched the internet. There's a thousand different posts about how to break these things in. Everyone says I'm following the Briggs procedure to break this in. I can't find the procedure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my own thing. Um, I'm gonna warm it up and then I'm gonna apply some load, run it up to 3,500 RPM, RPM. I'm gonna release some load, run it up to 4,500 RPM let off a little more load and run it up to 5,500 RPM, you know, and I'll do that twice, <clears throat> maybe three times, we'll see. And then once I'm done with that, uh, we'll go ahead and do our dyno pull. So let's go ahead and get into it.
Okay, let's go ahead and open the data so we can see what we're starting with. As you saw in the video, um, I stalled the engine out after the first two dyno pulls. So we're, we're gonna take a look at all three, but we're gonna focus on the first two. So let's go ahead and open up that test. Okay, so here's our dyno pull. We'll go ahead and add our horsepower and torque. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be starting with 8.76 horsepower and wow 11.42 foot pounds of torque you know let's zoom in a little bit take a look at the first one right there okay so it looks like our torque came in <clears throat> Peak horsepower came in at 49.50. So that's that's pretty good for the first uh, for the first initial dyno pull. It's about right on what Briggs says it should be. Let's take a look at the other one. Peak torque came in at. 32.78 peak horsepower came in at 49.31 so real similar dyno poles so that's where we're going to start you know let's take a look at our air fuel ratio yeah just like I was seeing um, this thing is extremely rich now let's look at the lambda I'm a little better with lambda yeah we're extremely rich so our lambda is at 0.88 um, we're gonna want to probably try to get that somewhere up around 95 to 98 is what we're probably gonna want to see you know maybe even higher than that maybe when we go 1.0 but uh, yeah this is extremely low lambda Let's take a look at that third pole. Eight point seven three horsepower torque ten eighty. So that's where we're going to start, guys. And you know what? I'm going to show you what the break in looks like real quick open that test let's close some of these channels and this is what the the engine break-in looks like so right through here is me just warming it up and then you can see right here once I start applying load holding it at 35 holding it about 45 47 and then up at about 55 so that's the engine break-in right there guys so that's where we're gonna start Okay guys, so engine's broken in, dyno pull done, and uh, we're ready to get into some fine tuning. I think we're going to go ahead and we'll start with the carburetor. Um, we'll start with the needle first. We'll go ahead, we'll test all five needle settings, see what effect that has on the carburetion and any other effect it has on the horsepower and torque, and we'll go from there. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Plan your race, race your plan, have a good time at the track.